Hello there! In this video tutorial, we are going to go over how to plan courses for future semesters and how to use the timeline feature in student planning. This tool is a great way to plan out future semesters in advance to make sure you are graduating in a timely manner. Before we begin, there are a few key things to keep in mind when planning. Planned courses will be in yellow and say planned on the status. Registered classes are in green and say registered, and classes that you have not yet taken are in red and say not started. Just because a course is planned does not guarantee that it would be offered during the semester you planned it. And finally, deadlines for registration, adding and dropping classes, and withdrawing remain the same when using student planning. You can view the academic calendar for these deadlines at myhudson.hccc.edu backslash bursar. I will be your example student for today, so of course my setup may look a little different than yours. To begin, we're going to start on the home page of student planning and click where it says view your progress. When planning for future semesters, it is best to start off on the My Progress screen. This way, you are only able to see the courses that you would need in order to complete your program. So scrolling down, we can see what our general education requirements are. And further down, you would be able to see the major requirements. When planning for classes, it's key to remember that you are able to take some of your general education requirements at the same time as your major requirements. You can refer to the most up-to-date college catalog for a guideline on which order you should take your classes. You can view it at hccc.edu backslash ad catalog. So for this example, let's say I wanted to plan classes that I'm going to take for next semester and the semester after that. So looking at the classes, I'm going to see anything that says not started. And in this section, it says that I need to take both macroeconomics and microeconomics. Looking at the red text above, it says zero out of two courses completed. This means that I need to take both classes that are in this section. So I'm going to start off by clicking where it says ECO 201. After clicking on the class, I am going to see the description of the course and if there are any requisites. The requisites section will tell me what classes I would need to take either before or at the same time as the one I am selecting. Seeing that I meet the requirements, I'm going to go ahead and click where it says add course to plan. For the term, I'm going to click on the upcoming semester, fall 2020, and then click Add Course to Plan again. This is a lot like when you're shopping online. The My Progress screen is the browsing section, and your timeline is your wish list. So now that I've already planned one class, I'm going to click where it says Back to My Progress. Now going back to that section where I was picking classes before, I can see that the principles of macroeconomics is saying planned under the status and under the term it has a semester I wish to take it in. Remember, just because the class is planned does not mean that it is registered. So now I'm going to click on the course code ECO202 to plan principles of microeconomics. So here I can see the course description, but I notice that in the requisites, it says complete ECO 201 with a C or higher, must be completed prior to taking this course. This means I cannot take microeconomics without taking macroeconomics first. I cannot take it the next semester, but I will plan it for the semester afterwards. So then I will add it to my course plan, but it would be for spring 2021 instead of fall 2020. So I'm going to click 
add courses to plan, select the term, spring 2021, and then click add course to plan again. So now I'm going to click go back to my progress. And then scrolling down to the section, I can see that both of them are planned and what terms I have them planned for. So now looking at my math requirements, I see that I have two classes listed, pre-calculus and pre-calculus for business. So reading on the top, it says that I only need one. Depending on your program, you may see a long list of classes, but you would only need to take a few. Reading the red text on the top, will tell you how many of these classes you would need to take. Now, I'm interested in taking pre-calc for business next semester. So I'm gonna add that one to my plan the same way I added the other classes. So I'll click on the course code. And then click add course to plan. Then select fall 2020. Now I'm going to click where it says back to my progress. So depending on your program, you may see a section that is blank. For example, in my program, the lab science elective does not have any classes listed. This is because there are multiple classes that would satisfy that requirement. So reading the red text on the top, it says that I only need to pick one class. So to see what the classes would be, you're going to click where it says search. Now I can see what classes would fulfill that requirement. So I can read the course descriptions and see its requisites. Um, in my case, I'm interested in taking human biology but not for the next semester, for the semester afterwards. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plan it out for spring 2021 like I have before. Clicking add course to plan, selecting spring 2021, and then clicking add course to plan again. So now going back to my progress, I can see that that section is no longer blank, but is now filled with the classes that I have planned. So another thing to keep in mind is that if you notice on the top, it says that you need to take more than one course in that section, you would need to go and hit search to find the other classes. But for now, this one will do. Now that my classes are planned, I'm able to see them in the plan and schedule screen and on my timeline. So scrolling up to where it says student planning, I'm going to click on plan and schedule. So here I'm able to see a calendar view of classes, but I can also see the classes that I have planned. I can even click where it says timeline to see just the basic layout of the next few semesters. So your timeline acts as your wish list when you're shopping online. It's not the items that you have purchased, but the ones that you want to purchase. So now let's say you want to make a slight change as to when you want to take these classes. You could always X out the class that you don't want to take and plan all over again like we did initially, or you can drag and drop. So for example, I know I can't move my microeconomics sooner because I need to finish the prerequisite first. However, I want to take human bio in the fall instead of spring. So what I'm going to do is I am going to click on human biology and then I am going to drag and drop it to fall 2020 like this. So remember, when planning for classes before the schedule is posted, this is as far as you'd be able to go. The timeline acts more like a wish list of classes you'd be able to take, and you are also able to adjust this plan as necessary, depending on the class availability. Once class times are posted, then you are able to build your schedule and register for that semester. 
So thank you for watching this video tutorial on how to plan for future semesters and use the timeline feature in student planning. If you have any further questions, you are welcome to reach out to the Advisement and Transfer Office, or you can reach out to your assigned academic counselor. Thank you.